So I've been using Ableton Live 12 since the beta version came out nearly two years ago. And this is a feature that I have not seen. I have not seen anybody talk about. It's something that I actually stumbled upon on the Ableton website. It's a secret hashtag feature and it's completely game changing for your workflow and being able to utilize more of your sample library. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire, complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna need to produce professional quality music in 30 days. Either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course, we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, FabFilter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you could literally save thousands of dollars. And as of right now, the course is on sale, so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. So most of us who have Ableton Live 12 now are familiar with the tagging feature. So basically what you can do is you can come over here and any samples you have uh, from say a certain artist, let's say from John Casey. I can actually come in here and tag these as however I see fit. So basically I can come here to edit and I could say, okay, let's tag this as John Casey, who's the artist. Let's tag it as a clap so we know what kind of drum it is. And then let's take it as a bass sample. So we have all these different tags for this in particular sample. And basically what this is created to do is enable us to search our sample library faster and find things without having to go and search the entire name or what have you. The problem with this is now that we have these tagged, it's like, great, now what? These are tagged. We still have to come over here to tags and look through them and do all that. Until I found out that they actually have a way you could search these and that's by simply using a hashtag. So if I type in hashtag JC now, and I just press enter, it's gonna show me all of my John Casey samples. If I press hashtag snare, now it's gonna show me all of my different snares. So this is something that I hadn't seen covered. I hadn't seen anyone talk about. Another thing you might be asking yourself is, well, what I'm gonna do, go through and manually tag every single sample I've ever had. And there's actually a pretty quick way to do this. It took me probably about two hours and it's totally worth it. And that's going through and say you're using Splice and you know there's a, a sample pack called ABN or whatever. What you can do here is you can now select all of these and use that and use this as an opportunity to tag all of them under the artist and under the preset pack. Or if I search just for the artist abbreviations, now I can come in here and I can tag all these as JC or John Casey. So utilizing this hashtag feature, I've found myself using it in every single session. If I'm like hashtag 808, hashtag Liney. Now I have a 808 from Liney or a couple of them. Um, definitely helps you produce a lot faster. It also helps you utilize samples that you don't usually see because typically when you're searching, they're going by rank or whatever you delegate the search results to come in. This way you're actually able to see more of your samples and utilize more of your sample library. So that's just a quick tip for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Pop, pop, pop.